Hello and welcome to my very first vlog. For this vlog, we are going to be going to Rodini Spa to celebrate a loved one's birthday. So Rodini Spa is just under an hour away from our home, which is awesome if you are looking to go to a place that is not that far away. And it's especially good when you have kids in the car like we do. So here is a clip of us going through the Huguenot Tunnel. This tunnel is what helps to cut the travel time to Houdini Spa to just under an hour. But I thought for this time-lapse clip, I would give you some facts about the Huguenot Tunnel. Its official name is actually the Abdullah M. Omar Tunnel. The work began in 1984 and it was officially opened on the 18th of March, 1988. And the tunnel length is a whopping 3,900 meters with two lanes that travel in the opposite direction. Yes, I said it, the young people were too much for me, so I went over to chat with the elders. Oh, there's a cat! There's a cat! Hey, kitty! Hey, Mr. Kitty! Oh, he's sleeping! So, Hadidi Spa is quite known for its cats. They operate in little silos, so they all have their own territory that they take care of. Yes, that's my daughter asking for instructions on how to use a front door key. Can you believe it? But look at these mountainous views. So if you love cats and mountains, Houdini Spa is definitely the place for you. Although the cats are quite scared, so they don't exactly come up to you when you put your hand out, especially if you don't have food in your hands. And of course, as South Africans, wherever we go, we make a fire because we are either going to braai or we are going to make what we call pochikus. And on Friday night when we arrived, the agreement was that there would be one big pot of pochikus for everyone to eat. So that's what this fire was for.
this is obviously a beautiful place to wake up in step out into the sunlight breathe the fresh air and check out the mountains and kitties all around us let's go swim in some hot pools uh, a snacky yeah. Oh, wonderful. I've been trying to get those cats close to me for a while. Oh, the, the cat meow did you guys? Yeah. Curtly jumped over, ran away, and so Curtly threw the cheese driller. Oh. Off he ran into the bushes. That's so cool. You know, I can I can fall in love with any place that's got a cat infestation. <laughs> Apparently, Turkey. There's cats yeah. all over Turkey. Yeah. <laughs> oh. um, up here. No. In there. Um, I could probably go live in Turkey just just to be around all the cats. So one of the team members is from Turkey. Yeah. So <laughs> That's sweet. Yay, pools! Must be on board the You can see the steam coming off there. Mm. Okay. Right, let's enter the den of screaming kids and get some flip flops. Okay. Oh, it is buzzing, buzzing over here. Everybody's having fun. Okay, it's the main outdoor pool. So this popular resort boasts uh, three or four outdoor pools with that big slide that you saw the kids coming out of. Um, and then indoors they have a couple of hot water pools. And also on the premises there is a spa in case you want to book a nice spa treatment. Games. Nice. Oh, 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 240 135 for that bite. I hate it when these things become overpriced. How much is this? 160. Check, they know they don't have enough plug points. Uh, wooden spoons. Oh. 
Spell making. Ooh, it's a Deku puzzle book. Bunch of mugs. Look at these. These are nice. Oh, these are quite nice. 200 bucks though. That's quite nice, though, eh? Okay, what did I come here for? What did I come here for? Hey! 160 for the hat. It's a kid's hat though. Bathers, towels. Potatoes, potatoes. Ugh. Oh. Okay. Ugh. Got something nice. I think it's broken. Oh, it's two pieces. Oh, it's like kind of pies. Okay, cool. Well. Open that up. See what that's like. Uh. Is it supposed to be in a box? Nope, I doubt it. But anyway, I'll enjoy it. See if I can roll. Chauffeur, so let's go. Let's go see where everyone is in the warm pool. So on the premises of Houdini Spa, they do have chalets down at the bottom that are closer to the pools. And then further up where we stayed, they call that slung hook. And we stayed in those chalets up there. But also if you're interested in camping, if that's more your thing, they do have campsites as well, pretty close to the pools where you can camp in your bucky, you can camp in your caravan or your tent, depending on what you like. So basically it was just my duty to go back and get one of the uncles from the hot water pools along with my kids 
So that's what I'm doing here. But also I chose to go down to the arcade as well and go and check out the game room. Um, and I will show you that in a second after I alert my familiar that I'm here to pick them up. So the game room wasn't the most exciting thing about this place. I think the warm pools are quite exciting. And um, if you're into it, the slide is quite cool. But definitely not the game room. It's mostly just claw machines and a couple of foosball tables and a ping pong table. However, if you are into playing claw machines and getting ripped off like six times in a row before you win, then maybe that's the thing for you. Um, maybe you could sharpen your claw skills at Houdini Spa. So I'm pretty bummed out that after taking the kids to the pools, I actually didn't walk away with many recordings. I forgot to record the kids having fun in the pool but here is a short clip of them getting out of the pool I guess and getting their towels and their flip flops on hope that's exciting but why not look at the background and how awesome the pools are and how kid friendly they are and those beautiful mountains and trees it's all just a beautiful sight at this place Quick side note, I don't have more videos of them at the pool because we were there as a large group. Cousins, aunties and uncles basically took them off my hands for me. Right, so dinner time was coming up and I made these awesome uh, potatoes. They were supposed to, well that's me breaking the potato there, oops. They were supposed to be popped in the oven, that was the first oops actually before breaking that potato. Um, so you're supposed to cut these slits into them but not all the way through and then obviously you just soften it at the bottom when you boil it. You then get your butter and your garlic with some parsley and some seasoning and then you melt that down and pour that over the potatoes and then stick them in the oven and they're supposed to come out nice and crispy where you kind of slice them on top. Um, unfortunately, I didn't have an oven. I realized that too late that there is no oven in this place but of course we're South African there was a fire there were coals and in the foil I did them and I put the coals on top of the foil which kind of roasted them on top so we make a plan we always make a plan that's just how we do it So we rented out three houses, that's how big this crowd was. So this is me having a cup of coffee before I take the potatoes over to the middle house, which would be the dinner house for that night, because I need to recharge before being around a ton of people. So after dinner, I just needed some recuperation time from being in the crowd. So I've got my 0% beer. Yes, I drink non-alcoholic beer and I watched some MMA. So after my recharge time, I went back over to the first house where you can see we have the big 3-0 up because this is the eve of Dewan's 30th birthday. This is just me annoying my daughter because I can. 
but if I'm being honest, I'm not much of a night owl and I stuck around for the birthday eve celebration, but I didn't quite make it to 12 o'clock, so I didn't get to toast with him uh, to say happy birthday to Dewan at exactly 12 a.m. I crashed before that, so I went back to our chalet, uh, which was on the left side of the food house from the previous night and looking at our messed up bed because we didn't make it up i've decided it is sleep time i need to rest and so unbelievably it is sunday morning it's time to pack um i've got my bag ready there and there's gains bag over there and we need to start packing because we need to be out by 10 a.m There are cats everywhere in this place. Everywhere, look at that beauty. And driving down to the shop, I saw like three other cats, just beautiful. Got the pool super early and I found another cat. What is this kitty doing? Hey kitty. Okay, well, heading down to reception to hand in keys and whatnot. Um, so this is us leaving the part of the estate which is called Slunghook. And this is going down into more of the main area of the resort. Heading out, saying our final goodbyes to Houdini Resort and it's been a relaxing time and it's been so awesome that the cousins, aunties and uncles just kind of took care of the little ones for us. So thank you Houdini, uh, we'll see you soon hopefully, but right now we have to head over to Birthday Boy's house because it is his birthday today and we'll sing some songs for him. Just something important to mention that I'm sure you've seen with your own eyes already but the views are amazing the mountains are so pretty to look at especially when you get uh, really into those mountains onto the N1 so so awesome the view um, just before you get to the tunnel as well the views are amazing the mountains are beautiful and the greenery up against the blue sky just gorgeous And there it is once again the Yugano tunnel. We take that through all the way back to the toll booths and this cuts our travel time down. So on the drive home, here are some more mountain views to enjoy, some more blue skies and some more greenery. If you've made it this far in the video, please do hit subscribe. And if you enjoyed the video, smash the like button and then go down to the comment section and comment your country's name. I want to know where you're watching from.
one of the best things about coming home from a weekend away or a week away or even one night away is coming home to the fur babies i absolutely love the four of them we have three dogs and a sassy little cat with a big big personality and i absolutely cannot wait to see them the best thing is cuddling with them because all they want to do is give us love because they feel like they haven't seen us in years even though it's just been days um so getting all the love from them giving all the love to them that's what i really really look forward to after spending some time away from home and i would really really love for you to see them uh see their four fur faces just being happy and content so do stick around to the end of the video to see those superstars All right, we have arrived at the birthday boys home in an area known as Bishop Lavis and we are going to make a fire probably, do some brying and get some snacks and drinks out. Ha ha ha! 
Baby? 